in the early hours of this morning, we had another fantastically intense test match between the Wallabies and the All Blacks at Eden Park, which has become in, well, not become, it's always been a fortress for the All Blacks. And um, we had a really, really good game there. Australia, unfortunately, lost 27-7. So the All Blacks came out on top, um, I think, as most people expected. And I think, yeah, basically, from my point of view, the All Blacks were uh, uh, like injured from, from last week, like really, well, injured, um, what's it called? Ego, basically. And they thought, nah, we're going to win this one and came out hard and strong. And I think people you know, questioned the change in the starting lineup. Um, they brought in new players such as Caleb Clark for his first start for the All Blacks. And by far and away, the standout player on the pitch, he was like insane, made breaks here, there and everywhere, scored a, didn't he score a try? He scored a mad try or something? I don't know, but... Yeah, I can't remember. I he, think he's he just scored. making beaten, like, nine players and just like literally bouncing players like left, right and centre. Like, I think me and Ed, we were talking about this a bit before the pod. And you were saying he's like the new Judy and Surveyor when he was in his prime. Like, mm. he just seemed really good, like quick, big, like just so hard to take down and yeah, deadly on the wing. Yeah, I mean, he beat, so he beat nine defenders and next best was Bowden Barrett with five. So, I mean, pretty sick. He had the most running meters out of anyone on the pitch. How many? 73. That's oh, still yeah. pretty good in a, in a massive yeah. test match when you're making your first still start. so young as well. He made three clean breaks. Is he our age? I think he's like either our age or... Like, yeah, he's, he's definitely around our age. That's kind of embarrassing for us. His legs are absolutely like tree trunks and he's rapid as well. I think the most annoying thing about Caleb Clark is he's, he's actually a really, really nice individual as well. well why would that be annoying? I quite like what I quite like watching him. The fact that he's nice makes it extra good to watch him. Is he an annoyingly perfect person? You know, I, this is why. This, <laughs> this is why like, I don't know. You don't you don't like watching absolute twats on the pitch, really? Do you? You can tell those players. I'm not going to name any names. Obviously, don't want to call anyone. Oh, out, go on. You can Ed. tell players. Name one. Literally, name like one, go on, Ed. Go on, Ed. Name one. Nah, go on, Ed. Name one. Who was it? Out, Jacob Umaga again. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Like people who are just niggly and get get under your skin like Dane Coles, um, <laughs> <laughs> and just just look like a, a bit of like a you know someone he wouldn't really want want to make friends with probably. But um, no, I Caleb, just think Caleb, be my friend. <laughs> yeah, but the fact that he's like a nice guy as well, and he interviews well, and he's just a nice bloke, like makes him extra likable. And the fact that he's playing rugby so well makes him even more likeable. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, he's doing really well. And he's obviously a blues player, which we love. And oh, um, yeah, I think he's he's probably going to do do a surveyor and end up getting a lot of tries, hopefully be one of the stars of that New Zealand team in the coming years. Rugby.